Alright guys, hey Zink here. Welcome to the channel. So, with the global launch official for AFK Journey, I decided that I was going to go into my beta account, which I've got full access to, <clears throat> which is basically an advanced server. You get a chance to basically see what units are like, what the game's like and stuff like that, right? And I am going to be putting out quite a few videos in the coming weeks so that you guys, if you are interested in trying this game out when it launches at the end of this month, you've got a bit of a heads up, you know? You know the kind of units to go for, you know the kind of gameplay you're in for. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at the summoning system because I have got almost 200 summons and be able to get an idea of what kind of rates that you're in for, what the pools are like, and can you get doubles, can you get mythicals, like I'm saying mythicals, but there's units who are like in a different kind of summon, um, and we'll, I guess we'll find out maybe if you can get lucky and pull these units in standard summons, like you can in AFK Arena. Now AFK Journey isn't actually AFK Arena 2, which some people refer to it as, it's not, right? But it obviously is in the same universe, it uses a lot of the same characters and stuff like that, so it's understandable that people think this. But we're going to be going to the Mythical House, and this is where I'm going to be doing my summons. So, let's see what they're actually like. So you can see from looking at the top of the screen, I've got 66 summons for the standard banner, and for the more epic banner, I've got 132, right? And I've also got an absolute buttload of diamonds. So let's go over first of all how the summoning system works, okay? You do a 10 pull, you're guaranteed to get an elite hero, okay? You can also get above that, you can get better than that, right? You've got a wish list, which you can see here. You fill your wish list out with the characters that you want. So basically if I pull an A rank unit, I'm guaranteed to get one of these eight units I've highlighted. If I pull an S rank, I'm guaranteed to get one of the units on the left hand side. So that's how your standard banner works. And for your epic banner, you select five units. And if you pull one, you're going to get one of these units, okay? So I've basically lined up who I want. And let's see how we get on. I'm going to start out on the standard banner. I'm going to be doing a lot of pulls. I'm probably going to skip the animations because time constraints. We don't want the video to last too long. So let's do three multis here and then I'll jump over to the other one and then I'll come back to this one, right? So you can tell by the light. Okay, so I've pulled three A ranks in this pool. So we will just skip this. I believe I get the option here to skip. So you see there, there's our three elites. One of them is new. There's a specific character I want to pull. Because I need dupes. And let's see if we can get the dupes that I need. Just so happened to pull her again. Nice. It's our third. I think this might be gold. No, it's not. Maybe it's the next one. I'm guaranteed a, an S rank. So can I get the dupes that I'm looking for? No. Although I will take dupes of her. She has a unit that I do want to get dupes for, but she's not actually the one that I want at this specific moment. You know what? We'll just use all of these. I should get a gold here, I think. There's a gold. So we've got an S rank unit here. We'll, go, we'll actually go through this one, right? Because I've got an S rank. We'll see if it's a new unit or not. It's not, but again, this is useful. It's someone who I actually do need dupes for. So that's me got my Thorin, I think this ranks them up possibly to epic plus possibly not entirely sure so i've got what two more multis and then i've got six singles so i'll probably just use some diamonds to finish that and make it a multi i will skip that animation another copy of her i won't complain i've still not happened to pull the unit that i want to pull so I'll use these diamonds to get these four last invites and then I'll sit on my diamonds and we'll go and do the epic sum. Hey, that's what I need. I need two more of him though. I need two more of him to take him to like legendary plus, I think. So that's good. I'm happy with that. You can see there, the pools are fairly generous, you know. Um, 
You might think, oh, but you pulled a lot of, like, A rank units, you didn't pull as many, like, of the higher rank. To be honest, if I go back and look here just now, this guy here is actually a beast, and I've just realised I actually do have enough crystals. Awesome sauce. So I can rank him up just now. I send him up to the next rank, which puts him to Mythic Plus. He is top tier. Absolutely top tier. And the good thing is, you start out with him, okay? He is an absolute beast of a unit. Fantastic DPS. Really like him. I'm going to actually use my enhancement stuff into this guy because he's a monster. He's a monster. And I am probably going to find now that I am able to push a fair bit higher because I've now done that. So, awesome. Phelan, you are the man. Is she anywhere near leveling up yet? I need four more dupes for her to actually get her up to a higher level. So, let's go back into the Mythic House. And we're going to do the other banner now. Now, I've got a lot of summons here. This is the higher rarity banner. So, hopefully, we can get some dupes for units that I need the dupes for, which would ideally be her. Or him. Great units. Or I can pick up some new units, which would be the free at the end. So, let's see how we got on. Awesome sauce. I really wanted her. I really wanted her. She's great DPS, true damage, just what I needed. Now, if I can maybe pull a couple of dupes, I'd be happy with that as well. So, we'll keep going on here. I just realised that I've set this to auto-skip. So, you'll notice now we're not getting the animation. It's because I obviously told it to automatically skip. So, these are going to go quicker than normal. So, maybe on this next summon or the summon after, I think we would be possibly looking at pulling a gold. There's our gold. Another new unit. No complaints from me. I would maybe possibly like to see... Oh! you just seen a second ago. She is someone who I am looking for dupes in. There we go. There we go. Brutus. So I've, I've pretty much pulled everyone now. And at this point, it is just a case of dupes. I do have most of the available characters, I think. Awesome. Nice dupe there. <laughs> that, this is going well. As you can see, guys, again... Luck is a factor, it always is a factor, it's a gacha, right? But the rates in this game are fairly generous. They are fairly generous. So, for that to ring true on this next summon, if I pull another epic, I would say that we've definitely done well. There's another epic, and I'm pulling the units that I want to pull, that are going to do well for me, that are going to serve me well, and are going to help me in the game. There's another fairly decent pull. Pulling units that I really do want to get, to get investment in. Got two tickets left. I won't touch them at the moment. I'll go and see where I stand after those pulls. Which, I think you saw yourself, were more than solid. So that's how I ended up to Mythic. Awesome, just what we needed. Come back out, move down here. So you can see I've obviously got a lot of the units, so I'll be showcasing these units, I'll be doing breakdown videos so that you guys can see them in action, see how they function. I don't actually think it was her I was looking for, um, but, 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 but was it her I was looking for? Let me double check, is she the one that does true damage? I think she is. Dealing enormous true damage, yep, that is exactly who I was looking for. So I can move her up a rank, ascend. Awesome, Epic Plus. Supplement this, put it up to the Legendary. Awesome. Now I need one more copy of her and I can move her up to Legendary Plus. So she is actually going to be going into my squad for bossing. I'm going to be trying to see if I can do a bit better in the Dream, dream Realm to score more points on the boss, I guess. Pretty much why a few of the units that I wanted um, 
why I wanted them is, is exactly that. I wanted to essentially have better bossing options. And these units are now starting to flesh out my team, giving me more options, giving me more chance to, I guess, push higher, do more, and let you guys see how these units function at a higher level. And I'm getting quite a lot of them pushed up. And it was all through that summoning session. And I've still got a hell of a lot of currency that I can earn within game as well. Which, I must admit, they seem to, at least on the surface, in the beta anyway. You know, the full game might not be as generous. I don't actually know. We will find that out together. But they seem to be going along the same lines as AFK. Where it is seeming on the surface anyway to be quite generous you know and that's always good if you're looking to take on a new game you obviously want things to be good like you want good pulls you want the chance to earn lots of different currency and it does seem like that's what we're going to get here right and i'll be honest when it comes to lilith they want their own ips to succeed and just like dislike this is their own IP, they own this IP. So they are invested deeply into this and they want to see it succeed. So I do think they're going to put probably a lot of weight behind this. They'll probably put a lot of advertising budget in the future. I wouldn't be shocked to see collabs and stuff like that pop up for it. And while it is still a, an idle game, I think it's got a lot more going on than a lot of other idle games, you know? It's a decent open world, you've got lots of exploration, there's boxes, there's loot hidden everywhere, there's mini bosses, there's mini challenges, there's puzzles, there's a lot going on, you know? And that's before they start rolling out a lot of events and stuff like that. So with the game launching at the end of the month, if it is something you're interested in, make sure you go and pre-register. Um, not that I think it makes that much difference, you'll still get the pre-registration rewards, even if you don't, but it is due to come out, I think, on the 24th of March. Well in advance of that, I'll have loads of videos going over, maybe individually, what each unit does, show you gameplay, show you how they function, show you what kind of squads that they work on, are they bossing units, are they PvE units, PvP units, all of that stuff. We'll have best units to target starting out, and tier lists, stuff like that. Everything that you'll need to get your teeth sunk into this game in a good way. I've been playing it for quite some time. Um, I took a bit of a break from it. I do really want to focus on pushing things on a little bit more. But I'm also going to be starting a new fresh account when it launches globally. But this account is always going to give me access to the new units. About seven days to two weeks, I think. I'm not sure, it's one or two weeks before they launch, so rather than kind of doing guesswork to see what new units are going to be like, I'll actually be able to go hands-on with them and actually see what they're going to be like. And then you'll know, are they going to be worth summoning, skipping, what should you do? So if you're interested in this game, make sure you bookmark the channel, subscribe to the channel, whatever the hell it is you do, because along with content I put out for other games, this is going to be the other game that I do focus on on the channel. So, if you're excited for AFK Journey, make sure you check me out in future. Anyway guys, I've been Hazink. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.